We've got a record number of people who are unemployed at this point in time, and it's not even closed. So how's that going to affect home sales? What's up guys, Steve Bazzogany, Philly's real estate agent. Today's topic, we're actually gonna go over how the real estate market is affected by the jobless account right now. And the, the number of people who are unemployed right now is insanely high. And like I said before, it's not even close. The record before this was a fraction, just a mere fraction of what it is now. So um, a lot of people might think it's, it's, you know, it's not, it is common sense to think that the unemployment rate going up would affect the housing market but you know some of our history based on some research from curb.com and keeping current matters and other things like that have indicated kind of a different story interestingly enough the correlation between the two isn't really as strong as one might think given the uncertainty of the market it's totally realistic and reasonable to think that people might hold off on a home purchase or a home sale uh, and that's like i said it's totally reasonable to think that but that doesn't necessarily mean that the prices of homes are going to plunge, and here's why. Back in 2008, during the Great Recession, the the amount of properties that were available was in overabundance. It was just a crap ton of properties, and the amount of qualified buyers was significantly less than the amount of properties that were available. So you had a bunch of unqualified buyers who were buying these new homes, these existing homes, so the market was, there was a, a mismatch here. You had lack of qualified buyers and an overabundance of property. However, this time around is a totally different story because the amount of inventory is on the short end and the amount of qualified buyers is much higher and builders are actually struggling to meet the demand. So the prices of houses are going to, in my opinion, are probably going to stay about the same and or continue on the trajectory that they were on. And because also the, the lending I guess regulations and rules are also much more strict. So one, you don't have a overabundance of property and you don't have a lack of qualified buyers. In fact, you have the opposite. You have more qualified buyers and less property, plus the addition of stricter lending laws and strict, stricter lending rules uh, kind of eliminates a repeat of 2008, in my opinion. So what's the bottom line? Here's the bottom line is that you can reasonably expect sales to slow down due to a black swan event, but not due to any kind of current economic market conditions. Like I said, the market conditions for a quick and strong real estate market, or when I say quick, I mean fast paced, a fast paced competitive real estate market, those conditions still exist. They're just kind of on hold right. They've actually been frozen in place due to this virus and like I said, black swan event. So once this economy opens back up and things start to, we start to establish a new normal going forward, I do believe that the market on the on the bright side of all this, the market is probably going to bounce back relatively quickly because now people have had time to look at homes and people are eager to get back out into the world and start making some moves. And when I say make moves, I actually quite mean that quite literally, like move from one house to another and start making new home purchases and home and engaging in some home sales. So, you know, right now, again, we are still kind of thawing out a little bit to use the frozen in place. Um, thing I was using with. So, um, so yeah, so as we start to thaw out the economy and unfreeze it a little bit, we'll, um, I do think that a relatively rapid return to normal of what it was pre virus is relatively is pretty reasonably expected. So that's the good news. So uh, all good things uh, coming from me today. So if you guys have any questions, or comments, concerns about the real estate market in Philadelphia or the surrounding area, feel free to let me know and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and you have questions about buying a home, selling a home, or just Philadelphia real estate in general, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you out with any questions you have.